Hey y'all, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing these Amazon silicone molds into vent clips. Um, so I just start with my beads like normal. Each one of these vent clips takes about two to three scoops of the beads. Um, so I'm just scooping in enough beads for one color. I'm gonna do two hearts pink, two hearts um, green, and two hearts turquoise. Okay, so here's my pink mica. It's from Mad Micas, and it's called Pretty Kitty. I'm just gonna put a little scoop, since this is just for two, in there, and we're gonna shake it up. Okay, once that's all mixed together, I'm gonna take this glitter and just sprinkle a little in each of those little wells and then spread it around with a fluffy makeup brush. I like to just get these from the dollar store. Uh, you can get a whole bunch for just a dollar each. And then we're gonna scoop in our beads, just two to three scoops in each one or just fill it up. However many scoops it takes for you is fine. I just like to do two or three. And then I will pat that down with my little sponge daughter paintbrush. And then here's my next color. It's going to be neon green. Put a scoop in there and then we're gonna shake it up and do everything over just like we did with the pink ones. Right here, I spilled a couple of my green beads out onto my pink. So I'm just gonna take some tweezers and get those out. And now moving on to teal, we're gonna do the same thing. Just put a scoop in. Now this, I ended up adding more mica in. You'll see me add more because it was not as dark as I'd like. This mica powder um, is a really pretty color but you do need to have quite a bit of it because it just doesn't turn very dark. It's very matte. And then sprinkle some glitter like the other ones and then put your beads in. Okay, and now for the cactuses, I'm just going to do them all the same color. We're gonna use the same neon green that we used for the hearts. Um, and this one, I put about, I think, 12 scoops in that jar of the aroma beads. And then I put a good amount of mica powder in there and shake it all up. I did end, I ran out, so I did end up mixing up just a little bit more. And you'll see that towards the end. I didn't have enough to fill one of the little cavities but I use the same glitter that I used for the heart mold. Just sprinkle that in and then pour your beads in. Then I like to just smooth everything down, make sure it's all nice and flat, and they're gonna go in the oven at 440 degrees for about 10 minutes. As soon as they come out, you're gonna directly put these little vent clips in there. You have to do this while the beads are still melted and hot, otherwise they, it gets too hard and you're not able to put them in. So just press those in really good in all of your little wells. And then I take my silicone brush and I just squish those beads down on each side of that vent clip so that it's nice and snug. 
Okay, now that they have cooled off, we can take them out of the molds. And these are just super simple. You just pop them right out. Okay, and just like all of my regular freshies, I don't like those spiky things on there. So I'm going to take these super sharp Fisker scissors. I got them in the sewing section at Hobby Lobby. And I'm just going to trim off all of that. Um, it's not really necessary. I just think they look better when all of those little spikies are trimmed off. And this is my favorite part. I love putting all of my stickers on and packaging all of my freshies. So this is just me putting all of my warning labels on first and then I'm going to um, flip them over and put all of the scent labels on. Um, so I just make my labels on canva.com and then I print them on my thermal printer. These are such a good addition to your large freshies. I love to package a large freshie and a set of vent clips together. Everybody loves that. Have fun. Thank y'all so much for watching. I really appreciate you all. And if there's anything that you'd like to see in particular, please let me know in the comments so I can get that on the list. Um, as always, please like and subscribe and go follow us on social media. Thank you, bye.